Hi, let's talk about The Blob from 1988. The Blob from 1988 is a remake of the 50s original starring Steve McQueen. This stars Shawnee Smith, uh, who you might recognise as Amanda from the Saw films, and Kevin Dillon, the brother of Matt Dillon, who you might recognise from Entourage the TV series. Things like The Thing, um, aliens and poltergeist and they always seem to overlook the blob this is a great film um, it is a saturday night entertainment piece of horror fun um what's good about it is it doesn't hang about it gets right into the story you see the blob in its little form right from the start when it attacks a homeless chap in the woods uh, and right from there uh, about 10 minutes in you have got people being dissolved you've got all these great gory effects you've got very creative use of camera angles and practical effects of the day but to create a real sort of romp of a film um, if you like gory effects if you like um, people trying to be clever with ideas and try and reimagine things in a good way then this is a film for you um, because you think it's just a blob. It's not like, say, with The Thing where it was a shapeshifter so you could have all of these cool different shapeshifting effects. It's essentially a big pink blob. You've got a switcheroo on the hero character uh, about a third of the way in. And then uh, really, I suppose, double switcheroo back because you're not sure if it's a male lead or a female lead. And to be honest, Shawnee e. Smith sort of steals a show from... Kevin Dillon she does some really good moments of acting in this film where acting isn't sort of I suppose the thing that's at the fore um, and it's a film where having a look on the IMDb trivia uh, of the 19 million pound budget they spent 9 million pounds on special effects which is exactly the right thing to do because I think the blob looks great it's only in a few shots where it's sort of rolling down the high street that it looks quite bad but uh, other than that it's a really um well-conceived film because the blob has like tendrils and things that reach out to get people and it moves in a manner that is both slow and creepy but also aggressive and fast when it needs to be i would say if you can find this film and you are a fan of horror um sort of, sort of those films of the 80s and you haven't seen it yet give it a watch it's worth tracking down i'm sure it must be for like 99p on google play or something like that um it's not available on any of the streaming services i'm aware of in the uk whether it is in america i'm not sure um it isn't i don't think it's available on american shudder but um who knows it might come on there at some point but let me know do you like this film um because you don't want a cgi version of the blog because it'll look shit um i think it is and i'd like to see it because uh it's 30 years on from when this film was made, just about, and that the remake, the 1988 one, was 30 years on from when the one in the 50s was made. So I think um, I think it's about time. Uh, please feel free to give us a thumbs up and a like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.